all right guys welcome back to the channel and today oh lord the sun is in my eyes hold on all right today we're gonna be working on the mustang um i have an issue with my carburetor i didn't actually hook up anything yet no fuel i didn't hook up the distributors yet my carburetor is out of the junkyard and rusty like normal uh, i have to loose the four bolts that hold it down lift it back up and just spray WD-40 on the the throttle flaps and see if I could get it to move back and forth. I had to do it while it was off but you know if a motor isn't running it's gonna seize back up eventually. Um, the point of the build is just to see what I could have made out of a junkyard for the least possible price. Uh, right now all I have in it is a flywheel, uh, what else, a distributor, uh, what else? Uh, fuel pressure regulator, um, pilot shaft bushing, really relatively cheap stuff and hopefully we can have it at least cranking if not running by the end of the day. So I'm gonna start taking off this uh, carburetor, let me show it to you. That's it right there, she has about four bolts on each side, I mean she has one on each side but um, four bolts, gonna loose those, gonna take that back off and then I will be installing my fuel pressure regulator and running fuel to my carburetor then we're gonna do the spark and then I'm gonna get a battery and see if that starter that we put in is the right starter I believe that's the wrong one um, that's what I was told online that the starter for the automatics won't work for the standard shift but we're gonna see um, so let me start setting up so I can take this carburetor off. Alright guys, so the bolts for the carburetor are held on by a 13 millimeter bolt. A nut, I believe. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm really not a professional at all. <laughs> I'm a guy that has available tools and junkyard parts. So, I'm gonna be taking these bolts off so we can get the carburetor off and I can try and clean up that throttle. And then when I install that, I'm gonna be installing the fuel pressure regulator at the same time. Pretty easy. I don't think, I don't think you should ever bolt down your carburetor too tight. I'm not sure what it'll do or if, it, if it'll seat properly or if it wouldn't seat properly. Got the carburetor off. Um, these are the throttle plates now that I'm talking about that uh, just don't want to move. They're pretty frozen. Oh, there we go. Got them to open, but you see, it stays open. So I'm gonna just try and massage them and clean them up, and hopefully we can get them in good working fashion in no time. Alright, so to get started on cleaning up that throttle, even though it started to open up with a little bit of force, I am going to flip this carburetor over and expose those throttle plates and they seem to be coming open but it was sticking a bit. These are, whilst I'm doing this I'm also going to be setting my air to fuel ratio, air to fuel mixture by screwing these in all the way and then backing it out to full rotations i was i read that that's a uh, pretty good like a base map or a base mixture to start with so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna first gonna get a little bit of wd-40 on those plates on the throttle itself just grease it up get it moving it's pretty rusty get it moving just keep massaging it 
Oh yeah, now, you know this is snapping shut. Oh yeah, there you go. There we go. Perfect. Alright, that is beautiful. And you want to make sure when your throttle opens that... Oh, what is this? Uh, oh lord, I don't want to call it the wrong thing. I know it's a pump. It's a mechanical pump that when your throttle opens, it, pr it pushes more fuel. So you want to make sure that that's also working. It looks like that's working in really good fashion. So, we're going to get to those mixture screws now. And I want to flip it over for this. I'll show you guys just like this. Turning it all the way in. All the way in. Okay, that is all the way in. This one is all the way in. And I was told, you notice they're both pointing at like uh, 1 or 2 o'clock. Now I'm going to spin it once, all the way back. So that would be half a turn. That's a full turn. That would be another half a turn. That's a full turn. So two turns backwards after being all the way in. So half a turn, full turn. Half a turn, full turn. So. They both should have a pretty good set base on it now, and then we'll tune it as we go along. But now, that throttle response is perfect. So, we're going to reinstall this. We're going to wipe it off, reinstall it. I was even thinking about if I should keep this electronic choke. I'm not sure what that's really good for. I think it's just to warm the car up, which in... The only time we're going to be in this Mustang is when we're beating the crap out of it, so whether it's warm or cold, we're going to be redlining it. So I'm not sure if I should keep that. I see a few guys just delete it and set their mixture to, I guess, whatever weather they're having. And they're good, so we're going to get back to putting this on the car. Alright, um, time to install this. Uh, hopefully the throttle doesn't seize up anymore. Let's put that first. Then line it up with one over here. And what I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this down as evenly as possible. Hopefully this bolt catches. That was a bit tight. I'm going to put the nut down over here. That one is down. And you just keep doing it like a tire, like how you would go opposite. That bolt's opposite. Okay, now it's back on. The throttles. Something has to be jamming this throttle. Might just be an issue where this carb was too tight. Yep, the throttle's working fine now. Hmm, that's strange. Well, this is my first carbureted car. I don't know much about them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to snug them a quarter turn each until the throttle becomes to get tight again, and then I'll leave it there. I can live with that, that's pretty good. Alright guys, um, as you can see, we had the carburetor off. It, it seemed to be an issue with that gasket, even though my gasket is all torn up. That centerpiece where the flaps are is the only thing that needs to be airtight. So that is airtight. Um, so we got this cleaned up. I still haven't made a decision on if I'm keeping this electric choke or not. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be installing the uh, fuel to get fuel to deliver from the fuel tank out to the carburetor. And then I'm going to be installing the distributor. And then we're going to be doing wiring and hopefully be able to start this bad boy up. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.